Called by Edmonton Calder. Alberta continues to be one of only five provinces to fund private schools. Further, there is little or no accountability for public money that is going to these private institutions. For instance, a Calgary private school was found to be inflating grades, te teaching children in the basement of a church. The principal and founder of the school was deemed to be unemployable in our separate school system. And to top it off, he had purchased a luxury car and signed a 1.1 million mortgage, all being paid for by the private school that oh. receiving taxpayer money. To the Minister of Education, how is it the International School of Excellence is still operating with next to zero accountability to either the children learning in the school or to taxpayer dollars? Uh, Mr. Speaker, um, let me just uh, respond to the specific question saying that that particular school has been under a great uh, deal of oversight and monitoring over the last year. There have been some measures taken and uh, Albertans can be assured that the dollars we investing in private schools are going through to instruction based on the accountability measures uh, that we've put in place. Honourable Member. Well, Mr. Speaker, I don't think we can. You know, let me ask a specific question. How does someone get to operate a private school if they're deemed unemployable in our separate school system? How do they get a license to operate a school and to run it? Honourable Minister. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I, I caution the member because uh, his comment's not accurate, and uh, he's talking about a member who's not here, someone who's not here to defend themselves and, and was not fired from the public system. But, but uh, Mr. Speaker, I guess, I guess it gets to the root of a real question that we wrestled with through Inspiring Ed, and uh, is it the success of a system or a school division or a school that is important to Albertans, or is it the sex success of every child? Should we be investing in a system, should we be investing in a school, or should we be investing in, in children and the success of each, children, each child? And it's every, child, every child is different, unique, and their parents may choose to send them to different uh, expert, ex, uh, I'll ask the next. Member. Well, Mr. Speaker, why are we funding private schools that tend to divide communities on the basis of wealth or religion when we should be committed to one publicly funded education system? Oh, good question. Mr. Speaker, I, I'm glad he allowed me to expand here. You know, in Alberta, it's the parents who gets to go where, uh, to, gets to choose where the kids go to school and not the opposition. Uh, we want every child to succeed, and that's why we provide many different opportunities for those children to succeed, because we recognize that not every child can be fit into the same box. Every community is different, and we want to invest in their success, not just invest in a school and not just invest in a system. Here, here. The